What's up everybody, it's Daniel Terzo back at it again with another reaction to a Dr. Phil clip. I don't know. It's called What May Be Driving 13 Year Olds Out of Control. Uh, I was 13 at one point a long time ago and I don't think I was more out of control. I was more reading comic books, playing video games and staying home and just pretty much jacking off to nobody in specific because I suck. So sad. Well, so I don't know what to expect from this. From the thumbnail, it's just a redhead girl looking miserable as fuck. And I'm assuming that's because she's looking at Dr. Phil's face. I mean, you can't get over that fucking caterpillar under his nose. <coughs> and by caterpillar, I mean that fucking bushy mustache. All right, so let's get into it. Three, two, one. Fuck my life. Go. Were you and your mom close when you were growing up? Yeah. Do you love your mother? Yes. Yeah. She's got my okay, name, except female version. Daniel, Daniel. Do you want her to be happy? Yeah. Where is your father in all this? I don't know. Do you know him? Yeah. When was the last time you saw him? I don't remember. Does he have another family? You know him, but you don't know where he is. Have you been hurt along the way? Has somebody in your life hurt you? Your life the top of her head is like shaved right there. It's fucking bugging the fuck out of me. Back. Right here. Oh. It's like she yeah, shaved her widow. Right it's like she I shaved her widow's off. peak or some shit. Very Look at that caterpillar under his nose. A get them before they get me attitude. It's like she if fucking I'm thug. The baddest bitch on the street. Gangsta. I life, it's right. like I can't get hurt because I'm prepared to hurt them first. I'm prepared to always be on defense. Look at her face. I'm prepared Man, to always you already know. Be fucking be talking about my rep. And that hostility. She buttoned her tongue nonstop, to bro. Hurt, fear, and frustration. I tell you what I think is, I think somewhere along the line she's been really hurt, and then you get cancer, not once but twice. Yeah, that's fucked up. And so. That's very scary for a child. And you you guys were very close growing up. I mean, I've Aww, looked at the pictures. So cute. Her face is not against your face by accident. Hold up. That's She's too young to be having a book bag like that or a purse. Intimacy. She cares about you and you care about her. I don't think it's an accident that she sleeps with you every night. Because I think she has this role she plays. But Damn, she got she some hair on them armpits. It's a fucking grown up 13 year old. Go out and play the role. And Have you ever noticed how monotone Dr. Out. Phil is? It's fucking I don't aggravating. Think this is an evil like, imagine him having a fight with his wife. I, I don't like, think darling, she's. Why don't you give me pussy? The Antichrist. At darling, all. I need I, that I think, vagina. I think because we really, you know. Kind of taken on this persona. It's the Lord's work. Because you we need to saying? go. If, if you go through get life with a, get them before no? they get me. Okay. Kind of attitude. Mm -hmm. It's it's very protective. Bitch. And anger mm. is a very protective emotion. If you're angry, if you kind of have this rough edge on you, then Can you I have that vagina, because darling. You reject everybody please. else first. I'm angry. To be I want and, and vagina. Because, and then when people don't, that hurts. So if you come in and alienate everybody and you're pissed off and you push everybody away and you're like a porcupine, then you don't ever feel the sting of rejection. And it's a way to go through life if you have low self-esteem and low self-worth. Yo, he's just talking shit about this girl. And She's just right there taking it, flicking her hair back. I'd be like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Has low self-esteem and self -worth, That's probably why she has behavioral really problems because she probably went because through the same I shit as I did. So why I got problems. Qualities. I should be on the show. She's obviously very smart, but I do think she's on a self-destructive course right now. So that's that. Tell me what you think in the comments below. I just want to say fuck Dr. Phil because he's collecting money being on a TV show pretty much talking shit about other people's problems and you people that watch her think that he's helping them, that he's going to help them by the end of the episode. But how could you possibly fix a problem that's deep-rooted in your life within a 30-minute to an hour episode? I think Dr. Phil's just cashing his money and we're just fucking gobbling it up like 
us regular humans being do with drama. It looks like I'm sucking some weird dick. That's my opinion on that fucking bald headed fuck. Alright, comment below, tell me what you want me to review next. Until next time, I got a Twitter channel, Danny's Channel 1, Facebook channel, Danny's Channel. Until then, like I just said, I'm out!